Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're off to Bonnie, Scotland to embark on the Southwest Coast 300. Fantastic. Okay, the new. <laughs> So, um, just to give you a slight update, we're doing the southwest coast of Scotland. Um, we are going to stray a little away from the normal southwest coast 300. Um, the simple reason being is there's a lot of that that involves a lot of walking. Um, Turn right onto Bud Street. And obviously, um, myself and Alison have difficulty with walking around too far um, and we've got the dogs so it's a bit of a nightmare trying to get all four of them to walk really well in a town when they're a bit nervous and stuff um, so our basic plan is that we're going to try and get onto literally the coast road and follow that so we're actually starting off in a town called Annan um, and we're just going to have a bit drive through just to actually say what's here um, and then we need to try and get somewhere where we can sort of just stop over for a few minutes, just let the dogs out, uh, let them stretch the legs and then we'll carry on a little bit later, a bit further along the coast I think. already here you can get the van right up onto the water's edge at the side um, for the tides coming in. Um, the only problem is that it does absolutely as well so there's, there's uh, toilets on there there's a hotel across the road and this building in front is a, a cafe coffee shop uh, I was just about to nip in and get us a couple of coffees while we were there just to spend a little while here but they've actually got a wedding um, that's booked in for three o'clock so obviously instead of us just taking off any parking gears we're just going to move on uh, the idea being is that we're actually going to head around the top of that water which will take us towards Dumfries and then we're going to cut across to the left and then head back down and just try and keep in with the coastline all the way and we'll find another pop up on the way.
big red turned around. We've um, found a really nice pocket for the evening. Um, I'm going to try and put a map into the edit so you can actually say exactly where we are. Um, but basically, I'm going to flip you around. It's really windy at the moment. Uh, I do have the muff on the mic, so hopefully you can pick me up, no bother. Um, but I'll flick you around and show you show you the views. Starting off, this is where we're actually at. We're at a place called Drumburn Viewpoint. Um, so see, I'll put the map on the screen so you can see that. But just so you can see what's around. It's just been raining really heavy as well, but it's, it has stopped now and cleared up lovely. So we've got a beautiful sun now, really bright. And then as we get further round, you can see the viewpoint. So that's us parked there, just among a couple of trees. And I'll take you over there so you can actually see what's what's about. So this is uh, the Nith Estuary, N-I-T-H Estuary. Absolutely stunning views. Just straight across that hillside. So this is our park up for the night. It's on a really quiet road as well. There's a few cars going past at the moment, but we are set back. Probably is about 60, 70 feet. We'll get organized and then uh, catch up with you in a bit. The wind has stopped, which is great. Well, it's calmed down a little bit, it's changed direction. So I've managed to get the back doors open. That's the view we have out the back. Absolutely stunning right across the Nith estuary. Dogs is just settling there back out of the cage. We've had them for a <laughs> quick walk. What are you up to, Lucky? She's enjoying herself. <laughs> you enjoying yourself, darling? So they've just been out for a quick walk. <laughs> Bratton's in his spot, isn't your son? The river Nith runs into this estuary, uh, which then runs into the Solway Firth. Um, it's an international feeding site for waders, geese and other wildfowl, and it's protected at an international level. So there you go. The area also forms part of the Solway Firth Special Area of Conservation. Well, I must admit, um, as far as park ups go, I think we're in quite a good spot here. There's been a few people pulling up next to us in different vans and cars, uh, but most of them were just getting out to uh, walk the dog a little bit and then they've all pulled away again. So up to now we've got the, the park into ourselves. The phone connection here is quite good. Uh, so I'm on EE. Uh, and where we're currently parked, I have four bars on EE. Alison's on Vodafone, and she also has four bars. So the phone connection's really good here. Uh, we've managed to FaceTime our daughter at home. That was nice and easy and nice and clear. So yeah, all good. Um, Alison's just doing a spot of painting at the minute. The dogs is all settled. The views is fantastic. And I think it's time to cook up um, some tea. So tonight we're having spinach, mushroom and cherry tomato fry up. I'm to get some decent knives this time so that makes life a bit easier. Going straight in the pan. I do already have butter and sesame oil in the pan. Obviously you can use olive oil if you prefer. Now we're just going to chop some garlic and a couple of cloves of this. I'm just going to try and chop it up as best I can. Nice and fine. I'll just light that gas, let that just soften up in there. Nice low gas. Came up with a nice bit of bench space, so when we've got the drawer open, just put one of these, uh, it's like one of them cushions that you put on your lap when you're eating your meal. That fits in the top of the drawer nice, and I can put my cutting board on there. So it also doubles up as a table when you're sitting on the passenger side, so. So I've just got some cherry tomatoes in there as well and the mushrooms. That's looking lovely in there now so I think we'll just get this served up. Right so it's a final meal, that's what we'll be having. Looking really nice. Another plate that doesn't lie. 
So after that really nice meal earlier on, uh, I'm just going to give you another quick uh, shore round a little bit. Obviously we've still got the nice parking spot. Uh, been a few cars just coming and going, but uh, nothing much more. Absolutely stunning. Hopefully we've got a nice uh, restful night this evening. Um, so I think till then we'll catch you in the morning and see you then. On everyone. Um, so perfect park up last night. Absolutely brilliant sleep. Nice and quiet. We just had one car that pulled up with a big loud exhaust on. He was just here for a couple of seconds and then he went ripping along the road. But uh, woke up this morning to an absolutely stunning sunrise. That's right across the estuary. So, plans for the day then. Um, literally just wing it, uh, exactly what we done yesterday. Um, we're just gonna follow, stick with the coastline as much as we can. Um, find a park up later um, with a similar kind of view. I think Kukubri, uh actually has a farmer's market on today, so we are going to try and pop into that and uh, see what, what goodies they've got. Hopefully a bit of cheese, <laughs> we'll see what happens. So we're going to get our breakfast on for now and then get sorted in the van and then uh, head off a little bit later. So see you in a little while. You enjoying that my darling? Look at them ears. Look at them ears. How we dizzy. There's all the lily. Oh, the sun's getting the map out. Right along for Marcus, it's a yeah. little village. Along for Marcus. It's a little village, somewhere. Yeah. Alison's a, a little bit Scottish. Ancestors come from Long for Marcus. I'm a wee bit Scottish. A wee bit Scottish. So we've got the breakfast just going now. So I've then poached eggs on cheesy toast. Well, I am. Alison's just having poached eggs on toast. All looking good. Right, let's check what these are like. Poached eggs. Cheesy toast. <laughs> Happy with them. You good, Alison? <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, so we're just leaving the park up now. Uh, we're going to head along to... Just making our way along this road that we're actually on towards Kukubri. Uh It's about a 45, 50 minute drive. Uh, hopefully we'll catch the farmer's market today for Tom. Head south on A710. Continue on A710 and turn left onto Kukubri Road. This way, we're from home. We've got our names on a sign out there, Andrew and Allison.
So just came across this absolutely stunning place. It's in uh, Rockcliffe Village. So just along from where we were, it's about 10 minutes. Yeah, Alison's in an element because the, the beach is just full of clam shells. Bracken, stop drinking the water, son. Bracken. Lucky, shut up. Absolutely stunning. So just this is Rockcliffe Village. It is a dead end, so once you've been here, you've got to turn around and go back out the way you came. But the road's only about half a mile long. Stunning. There's also public toilets as well. This is free parking for 60 minutes between April and September. Um, there's no return in between that. There is another parking uh, car park further up where it, it states no overnight parking. And it's, it's not as nice as this. It's actually in a bit of woodland where it's not very nice. But this is a great park up for the deer. The ground is just covered in clam shells. We're actually going to try and grab a few clams and we'll cook them up tonight. Hey what, what a perfect time to come. So it's a week before the Easter holidays and it's just working out brilliant. The weather, even though the weather didn't look very good on the, the weather reports before we left, but nah, you just gotta, gotta go with some instinct because we're getting tremendous weather. My arm here and the sweat's running down me bro. It's so warm, really nice. Oh, I've just stood in a puddle. Right, you My trainers are so good. How are you this? Oh, this is paradise. I love it. I'm going to paint the whole beach. Are you going to, going to paint the whole beach? I think the locals will have something to say. Like, so I think they prefer the sand. <laughs> well, my hand's better. It's a bit horrible at the day, but yeah, I love it. Absolutely stunning. Stumbled upon it and it's brilliant. Well, that's what happens when you just follow the, the coast road. You find all these little nooks and crannies. Paradise. <laughs> this dead just keeps on giving. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is your shoes wet? Your feet are soaking. So I've had a good plodge. It's been worth it. I've been collecting foraging for clams. It's been worth it. So I'm going to cook that for my lunch. The deer goes right over there. That's our part up over there. So, again, wow, we're just about to leave Rockley, uh, Rockcliffe Beer, I think it is. Really uh, nice. So, it's, it is the beer within Rockcliffe Village. Absolutely stunning. Um, we are just about to leave now and just head further along the coastline. Yeah. But it's these kind of places that we're looking to find. And they've got public toilets. Yeah, right they've, got, the they've got public toilets, there is a car park just along the road a little bit or there's this park and where we've just been which yeah. is just a short stair. And a nice screen van. Yeah, but it's got a nice screen van in so <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. Anyway, see so where we'll get to next. So we're just actually now heading down into Kukubri, uh, another mile or so. Um, we're going to be having a put around the farmer's market. One thing I will say, this road that we're actually on... What's that road, Alison? 
is the uh, I think it's the 171 or somewhere. I'll put it in thingy, but yeah. this road is an absolute beautiful scenic drive. Um, and it's great, there's very little traffic on the road at all today. Obviously, it's a Sunday, but it's really quiet. One thing I would suggest is do not drive it in the dark if you're unfamiliar with the roads. The roads themselves are great, but they are full of potholes, and each pothole is maybe is about a foot square and they're at least 68 inches deep. Yeah. Some of them's got traffic cones standing in them and there's only half of the traffic cones standing through the hole. So we've literally swerving to miss holes all the way along the road. But if you're doing this journey in the deer and you're, you've got your eyes peeled for potholes, it's absolutely tremendous. But caution if you're doing it on a night. <laughs> it's been a push. Not sure what's happened just ahead of us, but I can see you. Oh, oh. Oh, taking water bags come off the road. Oh. Yeah. Are you carry on Yeah. That's no, not looking good. It's not Yeah, that's not looking good. Fingers crossed he's okay. Yep. Country town. Gonna to head across the market just across the road. Let's see what we can get. We've just left the dogs in the van at the moment. All the windows open, got them parked in the shed. They're tired off the beach. They're absolutely shattered up running around the ice beach. Cream yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look what this market's here? about. <laughs> hey, see what the market's about. Cheese. That's what we need. Cheese. Can I have enough of the cheese? Yeah. Oh, the trip over there. Yeah, Plenty of plants for sale. Oh, dog balls. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Can't lumps of wood like. Yeah, definitely not. Cheese. Cheese. Let's have a look at the cheese. Fish look nice. Unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, we didn't bring our uh, outdoor stove, and uh, Alison doesn't want us cooking fish inside. <laughs> Not only is the cheese available, we also have beer. I can be having a look at some of this. It's quite a nice market this, there's uh, plenty on, <laughs> there's plenty for me, there's a pie stall, there's a cheese stall, there's a, a beer stall, turn around Alison, what you got in that bag? Some nice earrings. Not that bag, the real bag, that's it, six, uh, six, six bottles crap. of beer. <laughs> Get yeah. I'm having to sit down at the minute. We've just walked around there and I've got major cramp in the back of my thigh. Oh, and it's absolutely killing. Can't stretch it out either. I'm so, the pie shop. yeah, I know. Even the pie shop's not getting us on my feet. Right, I'll catch up with you in a bit. The only problem we're going to have with these. No. Right, the problem we've got with these pies is I'm not a fan of cold pies. 
All right. Uh, and other than the ridge monkey, we've got nowhere to heat them up, and that I'm not true. gonna chance the ridge monkey. I want to have a look. <laughs> is he all right? He's beautiful. Aren't you beautiful? Aren't you? Hey, can you smell over dogs? What type of dog is he? A flat coated retriever. Right. He's stunning, aren't you? Aren't you stunning? You sure? He's very strong. We're of hand for a wall, is he still young? Yeah, he's not quite a year old. Right. Oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> so this is Kirkupri Harbour. Alison's laughing at us because she's been walking about here like a stacked up donkey carrying all the bags. Buckaroo. No, I like buckaroo. <laughs> I've just said here, give no. me something, give me something to carry. She wouldn't, so I've took it off her. I'm carrying the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> she's fine with her, she's fine carrying all the beer. Beyond but I'll carry the cheese. Well, there you go. She kind of feel it, it's not hurt. <laughs> I'll carry the cheese. Right, so we're now just leaving Kukubri. We've uh, it's been a nice little nice, nice little wander well. around, yeah. We just went around the market. Um, the dogs just settled in there in the van. Obviously they had a nice run about on the beach earlier. Um, so now we're just gonna head back onto the coast road and just see where that takes us uh, and if we stumble across anywhere nice where we park up. We will do that and we'll enjoy a bit of lunch. And if it's a nice pop up, that's where we'll be for the night. Yep. So, no general directions, we're just going to wing it. And we'll we see can. where we get, yeah, and we'll see where we get now. Okay. Catch you in a bit. Been driving for quite a while. Um, obviously, went to the market earlier, then left the market, and then figured out a few places where we wanted to just pop in. So we've done that. Um, we've now ended up in the Isle of Withorn, 
uh, and we're actually at the harbour and got ourselves a really nice park up again for tonight. Absolutely stunning, stunning coastline. This is the wonderful view out of the back of the van. Stunning park up again. So it's the Isle of Withorn Harbour. Stunning, so we're going to get a lovely sunset across there as well. Looking forward to that. Get down. Yeah, you're getting yourselves in the tangle. A nice bottle of beer. Somebody's just walked past with another dog, and we're just all just sitting chilling in the back of the van. So, this is our outlook out the back of the van. Just get sick of looking at this all day, but I doubt it. I think that'll do for today. What do you say, Daisy? Ah, she's just happy looking in the thing. <laughs> Yeah, I think that'll do for today, so we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Okey-doke.